Good morning, my face is soaking wet. Actually, it got in my eye. Um, so, typically, I've had a lot of you guys ask, sorry, my throat is tired, we were up really late. Um, anyway, a lot of you guys ask how I use, um, like, sprays before I do my makeup, and I literally, like, the second I sit down to get ready, I will grab one of my favorites. Um, today, I'm using the Pixie Vitamin Wake Up Mist. I love this stuff. Like I've mentioned before, though, it does have citrus ac citrus extracts. So if that if you know that that irritates your skin, I would stay away because it's it's noticeable. Um, I really like it. It doesn't bother my skin typically, so um, I'll spray it on my face. I'll let it dry. This one, the sprayer is not fun. It's like, and that's why I got had a little bit in my eye. Um, the pharmacy skin do that I feel like I talk about ad nauseum on my channel. I love, but it's a lot more expensive, but the nozzle's way better, and also it doesn't have, as far as I know, it doesn't have those um, citrusy extracts. Um, I feel like this would be more forgiving for all skin types, so something to keep in mind. I love both. I've already, I already have a backup of my Skin Do because I love it so much, um, but I do love the Pixie, and you don't need a lot. I feel like I've used tons of this, and it, it's only gone down a little bit, so I can link both below, but I really like that, so I'll just spray it on my face, let it dry, um, and then I'll go in with like a lot of times I'll use a um, daytime serum if I'm being really good. So like the C Firma Day Serum. Then I'll go in with an SPF and then a moisturizer. I know it's overkill. Um, and then, and sometimes I'll do moisturizer than SPF. Sometimes I'll just do the SPF and not um, even a moisturizer. Because like depending on the SPF you're using, a lot of times it can be really moisturizing. So I'm like, oh. So it's totally up to you. But then either way, once I've got all that skincare on, then I'll put on my primer. So if I'm using a pore filling primer or a hydrating one, whatever, and then go in with foundation, concealer, etc. So I know it can be really weird. And for me, I feel like I'm still constantly adjusting the order of my kind of skincare routine before putting on makeup, but I don't wash my face in the mornings. Unless I'm showering, um, I'll oftentimes wash my face in the shower, but otherwise I don't like stand at the sink and wash my face. Um, a lot of dermatologists recommend that if you have washed it the night before that you don't necessarily need to vigorously wash your face the next day. A lot of them will say just rinse it with cold water if you want. Um, I know some people will take like micellar water and just kind of wipe their face clean with that to get anything from just sleeping, you know, if you drool or anything like that. Um, I don't know. So it's to each their own. And I think if you enjoy washing your face or you feel like your skin needs it, maybe you get really oily overnight and you don't like that, then it makes sense too. But for me, I feel like the skincare from the night before is still on my face. I like that. And then I can go in straight away with like my spray. So to each their own, but that's just the way I do it. I really like the way my skin looks. I just picked up the Kogendo, Kogendo, um, my Fanchi Aqua Foundation. This is one of those staples that I'll randomly hear people talk about over the years, the Kogendo Aqua Foundation. And it was a little yellow. This is the shade 113. I wish it was a little more neutral for my skin tone, um, but I mixed it with my Misha Beauty BB Cream that I freaking love in the shade number 21 because this is a lot like grayer. And I just kind of mix the two. And this is like the prettiest finish. I ended up doing kind of two layers all over my face to cover what I wanted to cover. And again, I've got an illuminating primer underneath it. But I just love the way that looks. It looks so healthy. Also, it's so rainy outside. I know that Coach and Doe is expensive. I think they sent this to me long ago. Um, and again, it's one of those that every time I try it, I really like it, but then I like forget I have it. So I want to try to use this more because I really am enjoying it. And truly, this was a really pretty mix. <laughs> so I just got in the mail today this palette from Rimmel. It's their Magnifies Spice Edition. I've heard some people talking about this, at least if this is the one I'm thinking of. Um, it's got a really pretty range of colors. I'm going to use it today. Some mattes there. Some more mattes there, and then some really pretty shimmers. I wish it had maybe like a champagne shimmer, something between these. Again, that's just my taste though. <laughs> uh, so I'm excited, I'm gonna give this a try. I was pretty impressed. So I didn't do anything crazy obviously with my look, and I haven't done my liner and mascara, but let me show you what shades I used. So I put this shade all over the lid, and it's so pretty. These are really, really pigmented. Um, and then I ended up throwing a little bit of this on top to tone it down. Um, this one's also really pretty. Um, I didn't like 
it didn't really need that on top. I think it didn't look the way I thought it would, so just so you know. <laughs> and then I put this in the crease, and this might be the star shade for me because it's super pigmented, and it was so easy to blend if you're near my skin tone. Obviously, it's gonna be too light for you in the crease if you're much darker than me, but it was a great blending color. And then I put a little of this in the outer corner. I put this shade here as well on the lower lash line. It packs actually a decent punch. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Oh, I threw a little of this. I tapped a little bit onto my finger and then actually wiped a little bit off. And then with that, I put it on, tapped it onto my lid just again to kind of lighten things up a bit. But I didn't really dip a ton into these darker ones yet, but they don't look super vibrant but I don't think that's really the point of those. They are a little bit more of a muted color. I could see maybe some of these looking similar on the eye, um, but I don't know how much, I'm gonna, how much use I'm gonna get out of those anyway. I might use that next time though. That looks like a pretty color. Let's see. I'm glad that Rimmel's starting to like come out with some new stuff. I felt like there was a kind of stagnant time for them, so that's exciting. So I just got done with a massage and it was wonderful. So when I was pregnant, a coworker of mine who had been pregnant with twins like the year prior was like, Jessica, you need to get massages, like prenatal massages. So I started doing that and they suckered me into buying like a year of it, like one a month. It was totally worth it, um, especially pregnant and especially like right after being pregnant too. Like it was so nice, but I only have like two more left and then my year is up because I think I started in like February or March of last year. Um, or I guess technically of this year, 2018. Anyway, long story short, it's amazing, but I'm sad. I just told them today, I'm like, don't, please don't auto renew for the next year. Like we're going to be done, but it was amazing. Anyway, um, so that will be sad when that ends, but it has been an amazing year. What a year. Uh, so I'm headed to Target now to get some groceries, just a couple like baby items. We needed some uh, stuff there. And then um, just a couple like we needed, we were out of bananas, things like that. So I might vlog a bit while we're in there. I also want to look and see if there's any after Christmas sales on like, we need maybe one or two more rolls of Christmas wrapping paper. Cause I think we finished two up and we like to have like three or four options. Um, and I also wanted to look at thick ribbon. If you watch my earlier vlogs where I was wrapping, I was talking about how much I love using really beautiful thick ribbon, but I only buy it after Christmas cause otherwise it's way too expensive, but it's so pretty anyway. So that's on the docket. I'm excited. I think there's a Starbucks in this Target. I might be getting some Starbucks. It's a treat yourself, self-care, self self-love kind of day. And yeah. Mm. Yes. I'm still eyeing all these Sonia Kashuk brushes. I kind of want all of them. <laughs> They're all so nice, and I feel like she's now just focusing on this, so it makes me want to try them. They're so, so soft. These are one of my favorite products from Pacifica. Like after the gym, just to wipe your underarms off and then maybe put deodorant on top. They're fantastic. I've tried both, but I like this one the best. Truly, is there anything better than being in a Target with coffee? The answer is no. I have found way too many cute clothes for next winter for Genevieve on clearance and some like springtime stuff for when she's like two. <laughs> oh my gosh. It is a downpour outside, so I'm waiting for a minute. <laughs> so I'm back home and I figured I'd show you some of the things. So I got a bunch of wrapping paper that was so cute. Some of this I could totally use, like this one I could totally use for birthdays, whatever. I mean, really a lot of these, but this Marion Bright one, look how gorgeous that is. I loved all of these. So. Very excited to have some fresh wrapping paper. Um, got some like, baby stuff, some bananas, um, baby food. And then um, we got just a bunch of clothes. Like they had a ton of baby clothes on clearance. And so I got a few like for the upcoming spring season. It was $2.98 for this adorable little nine month outfit. Oh my gosh. So got a bunch of that. And I also got a lot of clothes for like when she's 18 months and two years old. Um, just because again, they were on clearance and they had a lot of those sizes and that's, we have less of those clothes, of course, because a lot of the clothes we got for like baby showers were for this first year. So very excited about all of that. We got some Christmas decor. Look at these cute stocking holders. I thought those were beautiful. I'm assuming it's like battery powered once you take it out. Um, but we needed some more, um, some fresh ones in a set that actually like matches because ours are all like pieces of it are broken off. They don't match. 
Um, and of course we now have more stockings to hang. So um, very excited about those. These ended up being, they were originally 20 and they were 50% 50, 50 off. So it was 10 bucks each. Not terrible. I was too scared though to wait until it was like 75% off because I was scared they'd all be gone, you know? It was pretty picked over as it was. This is for that little green tree that we have. <laughs> Aren't all trees green? Um, anyway, this is for that little like lime green tree we have upstairs in Tyler's office that I used to have in the background of my videos. I figured it was like $2.50 for all these and we didn't have any ornaments this year. So for next year, and then as I promised, I got some more ribbon. We got some gold and silver and then a couple versions of red. Really, really pretty. Again, it was all 50% off. I thought about waiting, but again, there was hardly any ribbon left either. I was like, geez, so I figured this should be, we should probably be good for like two years with that, maybe even three, honestly. Um, and then I got a, a, let me show you this makeup bag. And then I got a ton of makeup that I'll do like a get ready with me haul with. So I don't want to show it all to you, but I got a lot. But I showed this in another time we were at Target. I think I showed it on video. I'm like, that's so cute, but I didn't end up buying it. This time I'm like, you know what? I'm buying it. I really, really love this. It's three layers. Let me unzip it. So it's, they call it their triple train case. I'll see if I can find a link for this. Um, so it's got a brush area here, but I love that it's, not compartmentalized so I can just toss all my brushes in there and then protect it with this and I love that there's a zipper pouch I usually put like when I'm traveling like you know some hair ties and bobby pins in there things like that so I love that that's separate and then the next layer is this thin layer and I thought perfect I could put like some powder products in there and zip them in and then this bottom layer is a little bit thicker and again I figured the rest of my makeup can go in there I thought this was really cool this was the only pattern I saw in this so Something to keep in mind, I didn't see, but I, I liked it. I thought it was really pretty. So like I said, I can see if I can find a link, but I thought this was really neat. So other than that, I got some more clothes. I actually got a dress, a matching dress for my goddaughter, my niece Claire. And then as always, cottage cheese and then lemon shine. Oh my gosh, this stuff does wonders on dishes. So I bought like two of the giant packs because they're always sold out. And then some more of just the grilled chicken chunks that we like to just quickly cook on the stove and uh, throw in our salads. It's expensive, but to be honest, we finally just decided like, you know what? It helps us get a little more protein and we love salads more when it does have some chicken in it. And I, we both have decided it's worth the couple dollars extra to have it already pre-cooked essentially, already cut. Um, basically all you have to do is warm it because it's making us eat salads more often. And I'm like, that is, worth a couple extra dollars to get us to eat slightly healthier more often. So that's pretty much everything I got. So I'm doing some quick editing right now before our friends get over here, Ben and Emily, for um, just, we're just gonna have dinner. They're bringing dinner actually, and just hang out. And they're going to Disney very, very soon. So Tyler's gonna kind of brief them on a few things before they go, cause it's so overwhelming. Um, anyway, and I'm we're trying that tea that Matt, Tyler's dad got us. <sighs> this stuff is not just like cinnamon tea. There's like a sweetness to it that literally, I took a sip and I was like, what is this? And that's how he described it. He was like, Tyler's dad was like, I don't really even love tea, but he was like, I tried this and I could not believe how good it was. So we got it for us for Christmas and it is crazy good. I found it on Amazon, so I'll link it below. Um, but, oh my gosh, it's crazy. <laughs> like how, it's literally like the holidays in a tea, but there's a sweetness to it, which you don't expect based on the smell. Oh my gosh. It's crazy good. It's like a gateway tea. If you don't like tea, you will probably like this tea. So Emily made dinner tonight. Um, tell about yes. it. Also, Ben and Emily are here. Did <laughs> oh, hi. I mentioned it earlier. Oh, okay. Ralph's here. here too. Oh, Ralphie's here. Oh. Gigi hey. needs to make her presence known, of course. Hey. Hello. Hi, hey, sweetie. <laughs> okay, so Em, tell us about this delicious, unbelievable food. Super easy. Um, just, first, we'll start with the chicken. <laughs> <laughs> It's just chicken breast drizzled with barbecue sauce, sweet baby rays, onions, bake it for like 30 to 40 minutes, oh put gosh. some freaking cheese on it, it's good, mm -hmm. and then mashed cauliflower. Um, there's so good. An, a, yeah. million a million recipes on Pinterest. It's just, they boil the cauliflower and then food process it with garlic, butter, parmesan okay. cheese, and some milk. Mm. Delish. It really is like really insanely good. Not as healthy, but low carb. Mm, yeah, <laughs> I, I mean, it needs like, a taste. It tastes good. <laughs> it is delicious. Mm. I'm so stupid. I, yeah. I'm so <laughs> there we go. I was like, Pookie oh, poor Emily, that's gotta be such a pain. Pinocchio. <laughs> Pinocchio. Anyway, to go on. Why is it like that? <laughs> They're uh, very fancy boys. Oh, no, I was 
so worried. Well, and I got some stuff Look. I need to cut. There you go. There you, you can go. do some cutting. Look at their socks. Yay! Because we've got a Hoofle Poof and a Gryffindor. Oh, have two Hufflepuffs. Where'd my other one go? Oh, he's huffling and puffling my tail. He got a little ball from he's Disney. Hoofle Poofle. Yeah, we, have... we gave Pinocchio the same uh, ball, by the way, and he tore it up in about 30 seconds. Be careful, bitch. Oh! <laughs> That's terrifying. Right <laughs> Jeez Louise. Have you, seen you got a cup of just? beer. <laughs> okay. Ben and we just left. It's like 1030. That's not bad. We were up to like 2 o'clock in the morning last night with with with, uh, not, with uh, Michael and Jared. So this is not too bad. So I think you're going to go edit this tonight, right? Yeah. I'm going to. Nice. Two vlogs it's one no day. It's no different than, uh, yeah. So if you haven't seen yesterday's vlog, which went up today because we were so tired from last night. It's on Tyler's channel. Yeah. But yeah, I'll put this up. And I wanted to show you guys. We probably showed this to you, but Ben and Emily got us this last year. It's a it Mickey. Mickey Mouse on the side. Yeah, and it's like really nice wood cutting board. And then it pulls out to reveal Your little cheese, cheese tools. Aren't oh these cool? And I love that there's like a little Mickey. I love this. We use this a lot. Yeah. Um, it was just a very sweet gift of theirs, and I thought it was worth showing. So I ended up putting crackers here and cheese awesome. here. It looks so cute. I love it. It was cute. Um, but yeah, so they that food Emily made was crazy good. I That's literally so good. want to get a recipe card and like write it down right now. While you remember, yeah. Well, I might ask her like if she can just share the pin with me. I yeah. literally don't get on Pinterest, and I really Ever. should because it, there's so much on there, and I I use all these different sites for you know like Instagram. Anyway, I'm over explaining, and I feel like I've already talked about Your this before. It itches so badly. Hold on, just give me a minute. Okay. I totally want to make that chicken again next week. <laughs> I know. I and know. the cauliflower, the mashed cauliflower. Because we've done mashed sweet potatoes. And obviously, oh, that's, that's still a potato. Yeah. But those were like, yeah. those were like sinfully good. And there was nothing in Like, you didn't need to put cinnamon or anything. I think we put some butter in it at the time. Yeah, that was it. it. Yeah. Oh, oh so gosh. like salt, I think, maybe. Yeah, a yeah, salt, sure. A little bit of butter. Okay. That's all you need. Oh, my. And, uh, well, I guess probably milk, too. Or cream, because, duh. Yeah. You had to cream it. Anyway, so it was all good. We had so much fun, and those boys, Pinocchio and Ralph, play so hard. So we ended up giving Ralph. We do like a toy exchange sometimes. Although we gave Which Ralph is some kind toys. Of brilliant. Yeah, it is because that way they they don't get tired of their own toys, and then they want it when they finally give it back to the other dog. Like, oh, this one's like, like oh, Ralph. I want that toy back. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. But we gave Ralph a couple of like plastic rubbery toys. Pinocchio just doesn't really like them, and Ralph like loves them. So we're like just keep them. It is time to retire. Yes, I'm gonna do the dishes. You're gonna go edit this. Mm -hmm. I'm getting a haircut tomorrow, by the way. Another one because I hate my hair. It's so poofy. I can't stand it. Oh, shut up about it. I'm very self conscious about it because <laughs> I. So the problem is, then I go back and at the end of the day I edit all this and I'm like, Ugh, I need to lose weight. I need to get a haircut. I'm. <laughs> I think <laughs> everyone thinks. I think everyone themselves looks always. at themselves. Yeah, at the end of every day, and but we, it's like part of our job that I look at myself. That you have to like literally like, watch yourself interact and live. And maybe life. it's just that I'm tired of it because again, we deal with ourselves all day and then we look <laughs> at ourselves all night. <laughs> so I'm like, I'm so tired of we me. Deal with our, it's so true though. Uh, I'm so annoyed with myself. I'm like, I'm like, shut up, shut Tyler. Up, God, I hate watching myself on these videos. <laughs> it's so true. It's a healthy uh, sense of self, self-loathing. Self-hatred. Yeah. <laughs> Anywho. You're going to have the right amount of it. So. It's just like you need a healthy fear of God, you know. <laughs> so, I need a, yeah. Anyway. Yeah. So anyway, so I'm getting a haircut tomorrow, and I'm going short, and I'm going to trim my beard, and I'm going to look completely different by this time tomorrow night, and I'm very looking forward to that. Maybe I'll maybe I'll like myself again. <laughs> you want to put some makeup on your face? <laughs> Am I pretty now? <laughs> All right. Uh, anyway, so yeah, we'll catch That'll you guys on the flip. Yep, flip. That'll be on my channel tomorrow. Tyler her channel. travels TV. Yeah. And then, how many, what day, what is today? The 27th? Uh-huh. Oh, so four more days of daily vlogs. 29, 30, 31. And then, again, two or three times yep, a week. a week after that. All of 2019. But yeah. that'll all be on his channel. And it's going to be, be edit free. In 2003. <laughs> edit, edit free in 2003. No, I'm kidding. We're going to edit a lot because we say uh, all kinds of stupid stuff. So. So anyway, our, our little. Roomba's <laughs> working off hard. Off-brand Roomba's running back there working hard. <laughs> We're going to link it because it's awesome. It's actually awesome, yeah. And it's way cheaper than the real room, but we bought it on Amazon. And we also got it on, like, clear. All of our on friends Amazon. have it. Ben was the one that told us about yeah. it. They bought it, and then... Yeah, it's it's. And then we bought awesome. it. And then, like, everyone bought it. Yeah. All right. Anywho, so... We're going to hang up here. Uh, call you guys later. Love you. Love you. Bye. Bye.